Hey guys, this is Cam Rogers 31. I'm going to do a video on how to disassemble a pistol. Um, in this case, I'm going to use a Firepower um, Spring Airsoft Pistol, 0.45 caliber. I'm not totally sure what model this is supposed to be, but um, it sort of looks like an MP911 with a modified grip. That's why I'm saying it is. And, um, so let's get started. Um, first thing you want to do, release the magazine. Release the air or any BBs you have in there. Um, I want to start off with the grip. Um, different guns are going to have different ways to take off the grip. You might see with yours, there's two bolts there, two screws there. Um, in this case, there's just a pin at the back. Uh, there might be several pins. This, in this case, is just one. So, I'm going to pop up that pin, just like that. Very easy. Only one pin. This is going to slide out. Nice. Easy. Um, from there, what else we can do on the lower receiver? We can um, remove the trigger mechanism, which I'm not going to do because it's a pain. Um, you can remove the hammer, which I will do for you right now. In this case, there's a pin, which is a case with most MT-911s or 1911 models. Um, you'll have a pin there. Um, with different models, um, there may not be a pin. Like I know um, M9s or Beretta models, there's um, it's a way different, way different uh, setup. I'll pop that pin up, comes out easy from there. Might be a little bit fidgety. Go and take that out. Comes out with a spring in it, keep the spring in there and keep it bent. Don't mess with the bend in the um in the spring that's in the hammer or else um it might not work once you get it in here, it might um might have to rebend it and um it only it only works with bend. Um, properly to a certain degree. I'm going to put the pin back in. I'm going to leave the hammer in there. Or actually, I might just leave the hammer out. Um, from there, I'm going to put my gun on the safe. I'm going to pop out this pin right here. This is what holds, it's connected to the safety or the slide catch on the other side. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, it's connected all the way through, so you can pop that out, and I'll pop, um, it'll disconnect the upper receiver from the lower receiver. So, I'll use the screwdriver to do that. Um, anything will really work, anything narrow enough, pop that. Um, this, in this case, it's connected, safety's connected to a lever in here, so, just gonna... Disconnect it. Pop it up. Up receiver, low receiver. Disconnected. Um, with the low receiver, it's very easy to remove the um, magazine release. I'm not going to do it because it's not the easiest thing to put back in. But if you take a close look at it, I don't know if you can see this or not, um, there's a little line, a little gouge in it. And that's for a flathead screwdriver. And um, if you twist that, um, it'll totally remove the front from the back. Um, the back back piece will have a spring, um, which is what creates the tension there. And um, it'll fall into three pieces. And um, three pieces are pretty easy to take out and put back together. Um, so I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to take out the magazine release. Um, oh, another thing. If you have one of these in here, most guns do. Um, that creates noise on the hammer and that holds in the... Um, keeps the upper receiver straight. Keeps it, keeps it um, in line. Um, that's very easy to take out. In, most, in some cases there will be a pin. In this case it just slides out. Just like so. Um, I'll put that back in there. 
There we go. There we go. This takes a little bit of force. Um, that should be better now. Um, okay, now on to the upper receiver. Um, I find this a lot easier than the lower receiver. A lot easier to disassemble. Um, in this case, there's two screws at the back of the slide. Um, you want to remove those. Um, this is the way it'll be in most cases. Sometimes there'll be several screws throughout the slide. You want to remove all of them. That will um, allow you to slide your um, firing um, pieces like springs and stuff like that out the back, like so. That pop off. So come out following it. It's a spring, which is um, used to create the um, the tension, which will release the air. Um, piston, which will hold the air in that is getting um, that is building up in the chamber. And um, I have no idea what this is to be honest. And this is just what holds everything in in the back. Um, although I don't know what this is, that is an important piece. Um, after I've got that, got all that spring and the back removed, you can slide the chamber right out. Um, from here, if you want to remove the inner barrel, which is this right here, you can see there's a pin holding it there. You want to remove the cover on top of the pin, which is very, very easy. The pin is just held in by the cover. It's really, there's nothing holding it there. It'll just fall right out and um, remove the barrel. With this piece, there's not much more you can do. With this piece, there's not much more you can do. You can clean it, which is always good. I recommend that. Um, for cleaning, make sure, I see a lot of people use WD-40, that's, um, bad, not good, especially with plastic guns. Um, this piece, it's barely even in there anymore, it slides right out with the spring. Make sure you put the spring in when you put the gun back in. Um, this right here, which is, um, it's not in all guns, it's definitely in all MT-911s, or 1911 models. Um, it's just held, it's just put there to um, keep the barrel straight, keep it straight with the slide, keep it um, in place. Um, that's just, it's held in there with basically nothing, just a, just a pin really. Um, not much more you can do with that. I took it out to paint it. This is original clear, the whole gun is actually original clear. I'll probably end up doing a video on how to paint your guns. I've gotten lots of compliments on paintings, and um, this isn't my best paint job, but I do have better. Um, that's basically it. This is this is just straight steel, nothing in there. Um, you could take the trigger mechanism out of this. It's a real pain, though. I really don't recommend taking the trigger out. Um, there's lots of pulleys and lots of springs and levers in here, and it's not worth it. Um, magazine release is easy enough. Just, it's like a screw. Um, this, this comes out, you need a little bit of force to put it back in. Um, there's really no point in taking that out, it's not going to do anything for you. Magazine, um, slide, safety, springs, pins, barrel, outer barrel, inner barrel, chamber. Um, that's what you should have left over. Piston, I mean, um, it's, and it's easy enough to put back together. I'll show you how to do that right now as well. First, first thing you want to do is um, I always, it doesn't matter which order you can go, you can go from the back with the chamber or you can go from the front with the um, outer barrel. I usually go from the front with the outer barrel. Um, I'm going to put it, connect it to the outer barrel or the inner barrel, sorry, to the chamber or to the, um, yeah, to the chamber. Put the pin in there. Make sure pin is facing down because it falls out very easily. Um, put the cover on. Just like so. I'll redo that. It's not collaborating. That should actually just be good like that. Yeah, this is still getting out of there. Um, next, put my spring back in the back. Um, piston first, spring second, 
um, I think I don't know what it's called, third, um, and this cover, last. Um, I'm going to leave that right there for now. Um, I'm going to put that spring in very last, actually. Usually there's a, um, a little, I don't know what to call it, um, a hook that'll hook on there. There is on one side, but my other side is broken. Um, so I always do that last so I can screw it in and um, the spring will pop out. So I want to connect this inner barrel into the outer barrel. Makes sense. Inner barrel in the outer barrel. Um, there's a little orange piece. Normally it's orange. That's going to slide into the connector on the outer barrel. This clamp isn't wanting to stay for some reason. There you go. Um, there we go. That should be good. Actually, I think I might know the problem. It is definitely backwards. There we go. Okay, make sure that's on the right way. I just made that mistake. Um, I did that on purpose. Um, and then put the outer barrel, slide that in to the slide. Make sure this is all lined up properly so it slides freely. Next, make sure that's, make sure you do that before you put any springs in, because the spring won't be fully in if you try to put it in afterwards. Um, so that's in there nicely. Um, and one thing that you do not forget is a spring on the outer barrel. I've forgotten that a couple times, and I can't ever figure out why it doesn't fire, and that's exactly why it's an important piece. Um, Connected. All everything is lined up. Piece on the bottom and the left inner barrel, which will help me put the spring in at the end. Slide the piston in first. Spring following. Piece I don't know about. Third. Lastly, cover. This part is actually the hard part, I think. Just trying to get screw in here because there's a lot of tension from the spring trying to force your fingers away screw the screws back in that one and the other one oh. once you got one in it's easy that and then from here that's your upper receiver done put in your hammer that helps out a lot if you have a firing thing about bobber this right here it um it releases the tension of the spring that's its job make sure it's down when you put this in or else it will not allow you to put that in then hammer next. Hammer with the spring up. You want that spring up or else you're going nowhere with it. It's not going to move. It's not going to do anything. Put the pin back in. Easy enough. Make sure it's fully in there. Flat to plastic. Metal in some cases. In here it's working. Beautiful. Um, grip. That on there's a pin that will do this. Put the pin in. Beautiful. And lastly, upper receiver. This is actually tough to just get this lined up. Take some practice. Now, got that lined up. Put it in there. See if he's working. Magazine. You're all good. All done. That's how to disassemble and reassemble your pistol. And um, I know there's not a lot of videos on it, so I hope that helped. Uh, see you later.